and thank you for joining me for this edition of Weather Northeastern. We're going to be covering the major nor'easter here across the northeast, which could drop snow in the feet now for portions of northeast New England as well as the mid-Atlantic. And there's been some big changes with the models here. Uh, there's been some trends that have happened in previous storms. And, of course, there are some similarities uh, between past storms, like the December storm of 2020 here and this storm. Not to say they're the same storm, but there are some interesting parallels as well. So let's get right into the details here. Taking a look at the winter storm update here for the Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, New England, portions of the Ohio Valley. Take a look at that. You have the Ohio Valley low on Sunday evening, transferring its energy over the Appalachians to the coastline just off the Virginia, North Carolina coast by Monday morning. As you can see, if you move up towards Tuesday there, the low moves very little from two, Monday morning to Tuesday morning, makes it to just off New Jersey. And then look at that. By early Tuesday afternoon, it actually tries to retrograde back towards the coastline. Most models are in agreement with this and then slowly moves it towards the northeast towards Wednesday, just south of Maine. So if you look at the overall pattern of this, there's a lot of blocking to the northeast currently, and there's not a good exit for this low pressure system. The high pressure to the north is very far to the north for this system. So we don't have like extreme bitter cold locked in the entire event. Uh, so conditions along the southern end of the system will be marginal. That's why we'll get a lot of mixing. However, if you look at the overall pattern for this low pressure, it's a very slow mover. So this has been a little bit different than past low pressure systems we've seen. And that's where we'll get the extreme totals that I'm expecting here across portions of New Jersey, eastern and northeastern Pennsylvania, parts of the Hudson Valley, even the Susquehanna region of upstate New York. Towards Binghamton, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, just south of Albany, um, over towards New York City, and just west of Hartford here. This is where we'll see a big bullseye of snowfall in the extreme and portions of Maine as well. So let's get right into the model data. Taking a look at the model data here across the Northeast. For initially we have the Ohio low late Sunday that starts to phase out overnight Sunday night as it transfers its energy to the coastline here off of North Carolina and Virginia coastline. Canadian models developing it a bit quicker here off of North Carolina, South Carolina coastline. Nevertheless, pretty much all coming in line a bit with the Euro here. A very tight spread so we're honing in on a solution here a path now if you look all of the models pretty much hang the low up here off of delmarva and the new jersey coastline here towards later monday especially early tuesday into early tuesday afternoon where they bend out to sea and then bend towards the west and actually retrograde towards the southwest for a time on tuesday morning so this is really interesting. The low initially, Monday night into Tuesday morning, does not have an exit because there's a lot of blocking to the northeast off of your map here. The other high pressure system that would normally be a bit further to the south is actually way up here in Quebec, a little bit off your screen underneath the Winter Storm Update logo up there. So there's what's happening. We don't get a good flow to eject the system to the northeast until about later Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. When we finally start to move it up towards Maine, the GFS is a bit further east at this point, but nevertheless, most of the models are bending it towards uh, eastern Maine here and up into portions of Nova Scotia. So there you have it. This is what we're looking at here. We're looking at the concern is a prolonged period of heavy banding mesoscale type snowfall or intense snowfall rates of one to two inches an hour plus as high as three inches an hour could occur, especially over western Long Island, New York City, portions of northern and central New Jersey, northeast Pennsylvania, into portions of eastern Pennsylvania, the Susquehanna region of upstate New York, the O'Hudson Valley region, especially the lower Hudson Valley region, extreme western Connecticut, western Massachusetts, and up really bullseyeing over the Poconos and parts of the Southern Catskills as well. So there you have it. This is what we're looking at here. This is the big concern. Let's take a look at those snowfall totals. Taking a look at the snowfall map here across the Northeast, this is the area of concern in the red where we could see locally higher amounts. As I said here in the red shading, 18 to 24 inches and some of the darker shading reds, especially in the Poconos, Catskills, Northern New Jersey, could see as high as 24 to 30. And in this red shading, I want to make note, we could see the locally higher to two to three feet plus. 
Now, I want to make note, we did have that system, that big storm last, this past December here, where it racked up 30 to 40 inch plus amounts here, especially into Binghamton portions of northeast Pennsylvania and stretching northeastward. It's not to say that's going to happen again. This is These are different systems, but there are some parallels here, and it is targeting a similar area. And we're going to see some mesoscale features that we've seen in past systems like the December one. We're going to see starting Monday, especially Monday afternoon, snow banding, intense banding taking effect here across portions of western Long Island into northern New Jersey, northeast Pennsylvania, the Hudson Valley region up towards uh, the Catskills by between noon and 5 p.m. on Monday. That propagates towards the northwest, towards Binghamton, uh, overnight Monday into Tuesday. So we'll be dealing with a lot of banding of the snow, intense snow bands with the system as it stalls off the New Jersey coast. That's the areas of concern most here in the red. And that's why I have locally higher to two to three feet possible. Not to say that's going to be widespread all over this whole red shading, whereas 18 to 24 with locally higher 24 to 28, maybe as high as 30. But some of these areas locally higher two to three feet where the in most intense snowfall bands of one to two as high as three inch plus per hour likely outside this main red shading here we have the 12 to 18 inches it's more towards albany just southeast of syracuse towards Cortland, new york over towards elmira uh, wellsboro pennsylvania allentown's kind of right on that border there stretching over towards central long island and then over towards just west of boston massachusetts here the suburbs heading on further west as well as uh, New Hampshire on the northeast corner of your screen here in portions of southern Vermont. And then you get to the 8 to 12 inches places like Harrisburg, State College, over towards the eastern tip of Long Island, and then, of course, northern um, Rhode Island here as well. And that pretty much does it. Outside of that region, you'll be seeing moderate amounts like 6 to 8, 4 to 6, and then over towards Buffalo and Toronto, very little, if any. So there you have it. The red shading is the area to watch. Taking a look at ice totals across the northeast, this will be less of a factor. It's more of a factor along the southern tier counties of Pennsylvania, Maryland, southern New Jersey, over towards portions of especially eastern Long Island now, as well as up towards uh, portions of southern Rhode Island and extreme eastern Massachusetts. This is where we'll have a bit of the warmer air aloft as the low pressure hugs the coast a bit and we'll get some more sleet and freezing rain and mixing going on at this point. But this is not going to be a major event. Here's that mesoscale feature that I'm expecting across portions of downstate New York, including western Long Island, New York City, northern New Jersey, northeastern Pennsylvania, the Susquehanna region of upstate New York, over towards the Catskills, Poconos, lower Hudson Valley, of course, to extreme western Connecticut. This is where in this blue shading, Coming off to the southeast, plenty of moisture flow uh, from the southeast as this low pressure stalls uh, just off of the southern portion of New Jersey. I'm going to continue to watch Monday afternoon through Tuesday afternoon a conveyor belt of moisture convective in nature. These snowfall bands of 1 to 2 as high as 3 inches an hour could set up here, especially across from New York City, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, up to Binghamton portions of the Catskills and lower Hudson Valley. So there you have it. This is the trouble area that I'm targeting over the next 24 to 48 hours. Here we go. Precipitation totals across North America. As you can see, there's that system out west, continuing to be very stormy. Mountain snow valley rain, mudslides continuing. However, back east here, there it is, the bullseye of the heaviest precipitation across eastern Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, New York City, just south of Albany, and targeting also Binghamton uh, and heading on towards the northeast. This is where we'll see a lot of liquid equivalent, and a lot of this will be frozen. There's a jet stream across eastern North America. This is where the trough really digs along the east coast subtropical digging as far south as south florida the polar jet here as far south as the southern appalachians we have almost like the low becomes almost cut off to an extent on tuesday morning tuesday afternoon before finding an exit to the northeast here along the northeast coast but there is that pattern that's supporting this slow moving low pressure system 
taking you through Sunday night here across the northeast. This is where snow breaks out across pretty much all of Pennsylvania, southern tier of New York, portions of the Finger Lakes, or towards Catskills, Poconos, New York City, Long Island, southern New England, and then some mixing, some sleet and freezing rain possible to south of Harrisburg, portions of southern New Jersey. This is where we'll see snowfall moving in. Temperatures will stay really cold, so it will be a light fluffy snow initially. Monday across the northeast, this is where the low pressure off the coastline really starts to get going off of the Carolinas and Delmarva later in the day on Monday. And take a look at that. That's where we'll start to get some mesoscale banding of the snowfall across portions of northern New Jersey, a western part of Long Island, New York City, a Wilkes-Barre, Scranton area. You can see the really darker shading blue. Southern Catskills will start to get snowfall rates of up to one to two inches an hour later Monday afternoon. Monday night across the northeast, this is where things really get going. You see in the darker shading blue from western part of Long Island, New York City, Scranton, Binghamton, just south of Albany, and this real dark blue shading. This is where we get the most intense snowfall rates, mesoscale banding occurring, maybe even some thunder snow. And this really gets going during the night across portions of Binghamton on southward to Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, the Catskills, Poconos, Lower Hudson Valley, uh, extreme western Connecticut, New York City, pretty much all night long, western part of Long Island, all through northern New Jersey here, and portions of the southern Poconos as well, just south of Interstate 80. We continue with this conveyor belt of intense snowfall rates outside of this a main event, we'll see lighter snows continuing in places like Harrisburg, State College, Albany, um, Boston kind of on the teetering between rain-snow mix. So that's where we'll see the more 6 to 7 inch snowfall amounts. But in the darker blue, that's where we'll see the biggest snowfall rates out of this storm. So Monday night, we're continuing. We'll kind of shut off the snow a bit here into portions of western Pennsylvania, western New York. And here we go into Tuesday, taking a look at the darker shaded blue areas. This is where the intense banding features continue. We'll have a quick burst of heavier snow up towards Albany that will continue to lift towards the north as well, up towards portions of New Hampshire. Uh, but the big story will be continuing the snowfall banding action going from New York City up to Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Bingham to New York, the Catskills, Poconos, just west of Albany. These areas will continue to see snowfall rates of up to an inch or two an hour by this point. Outside of this, these locations, right along the coastline, you see we start to warm up the temperatures a bit towards 35, towards Boston. We'll start to switch to sleet, freezing rain, and even some rain. And then back across Pennsylvania towards Harrisburg, Pittsburgh, Erie, and State College, the snow lightens up and we pretty much start to shut it off by later in the afternoon. Extended outlook for my hometown viewers, Binghamton to Scranton, and all points in between along the upper Susquehanna River Valley. Take a look at this. Sunday night, we get about 2 inches into 3 inches on Monday. And then, especially towards Wilkes-Barre Scranton, Monday afternoon, we'll start to get the 1, 2, maybe 3 inches an hour as the intense mesoscale snow band set up. Look at this. Monday night, we could see some thunder snow, likely. As high as 7 to 10 inches of snow continuing getting down towards the lower 20s, so it'll be a light powdery fluffy snow will start to blow around. Tuesday continuing, especially through early afternoon, another 5 to 8 inches of snow likely. And then by Tuesday night, we finally start to slow it down just to snow showers about an inch. But by that point, the damage will have already been done. And there's that 18 to 24 inches expected with locally higher amounts to 2 to 3 feet in some areas. As always, I want to thank you for joining me for this edition, special winter weather edition of Weather Northeastern. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to me. If you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube at MediaMark yet, do so. Hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want, leave a comment or question. And also, don't forget to give my Facebook page some love. Facebook, MediaMark, also Weather Northeastern and Hurricane Northeastern. Also, it's Twitter, WX Northeastern, MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com.